most definitely the way we live our lives is as a result of certain conditionings the way we've been brought up there's just a flow that is passed on from one generation to another you know and so we live our lives with some kind of template that has been hardwired hard press inside of us and as such we deal with life on who we are based on who we are based on what we believe in but based on what we think based on what we put premium value on that's how we lead our lives and so when someone comes up and tells you to pursue your purpose you need to understand that probably that someone is giving you maybe information that is outside of those parameters that you used to know parameters that you used to believe and so on and so forth and that being said it tells you that there is going to be a downside of your purpose pursuit there's going to be some areas of your purpose pursuit some seasons in your purpose pursuit where things will not be as rosy as they ought to be and those are some of the things that we are discussing and we need to be aware of them stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The topic of our discussion is straightforward and it's obvious. We're discussing the downsides of purpose pursuit. In other words, just sweep it outside of your door or get it out of your mind that when you're pursuing your purpose, what happens? Everything is smooth, everything is okay, everything is in place, everyone is raving mad at you, you know, everyone is happy about you, celebrating you, money is pouring in, people are happy about you and just forget about that. Purpose pursuit is going to have some downsides. So is life in general. Even if you became a CEO, I remember a friend of mine was telling me something about a guy who was promoted to head a particular department and uh, as much as uh, he was overlooked for that particular position, the new guy who, who was brought in used to receive phone calls and you just see him pacing around the big person the ceo was calling this guy and just see him pacing around and absorbing as much stress and as much as much pressure as possible what am i saying i'm saying that there is no way i can lie to you that purpose pursuit is you know insulated from trouble insulated from downsides insulated from setbacks and insulated from crises there is no way i'm going to lie and tell you that, that that's going to happen it is not going to happen when you're pursuing your purpose there this in fact you've got to be resilient in this podcast we talk about purpose productivity and resilience when you're pursuing your purpose there is nobody who ever pursued their purpose to the hilt without resilience you ask tdjs jacks ask nelson mandela ask jack jack canefield ask any visionary that you see who is pursuing their purpose or has pursued their purpose and they've succeeded ask them if they ever did it without resilience why do we need resilience we need resilience because we're going to fail we're going to have downsides we're going to have setbacks we're going to have crises coming into our vicinities in life you know just to blindside us 
and things that you never expected you wake up one morning and things have gone south nearly everything they normally say when trouble comes it comes like a bunch of bananas not just one like brother job you know the cows have been eaten up by fire the camels whatever the servants the kids and then the wife i mean just in a space of one day trouble comes like that i'm, I'm not trying to be dramatic what i'm saying is that you're going to have setbacks there going to be some downsides to your purpose pursuit there's going to be some kind of price that you have to pay because you're pursuing your purpose just the fact that you're pursuing your purpose is going to make you to pay a price sometimes a very steep price and we've been talking about some of those things and today i want us to look at one thing which is personal talking about belief systems talking about value systems talking about things that you've held dear in your life and not just you because you probably belong to a society or maybe not even society but you belong to a family and every time you belong to a family that family has an identity some kind of unique identity some kind of uh, value system belief system that they are steeping themselves in and if you're coming from that particular background when you now discover your purpose unless your family is stepped into purpose and your family is actually a family that observes purpose pursuit if you coming from a family that doesn't the very first thing that is going to be challenged is their point of view their belief system their value system in juxtaposition with your purpose pursuit and by the way it might not even reach there but before it reaches there it is going to be eating on you on this one thing i want to discuss today it is something we call self doubt purpose the biggest downside that is silent that people do not talk about for the most part the biggest downside of purpose that kills purpose about purpose even before it goes very far it is self doubt very many people who are called to great things who have purpose on their side they are actually even gifted for that particular purpose they have the necessary capacity necessary dna for that purpose fulfillment as long as there is purpose discovery there is also going to be self doubt initially people will think am i worthy to pursue this and even before they can think they can get there they will be thinking is this the right thing to pursue in the first place what if i am doing the wrong thing we've seen very many guys doing the same thing um in the bible john the baptist sent messengers this is the guy who welcomed jesus said behold the lamb of god that takes away the sins of men he sends messengers to jesus christ and asks him are you the one what was happening self doubt had crept in john the baptist's life we see paul the apostle after being converted and going to the heathens uh, the gentiles to preach to them the gospel he cuts his ministry short and goes back to jerusalem to confer with the church leaders there to find out if he is on track what is happening it is self doubt this idea of self doubt has always been there and sometimes it's just a natural thing to occur seldom do we it takes time for us to settle in new dimensions new undertakings it is going to be weird for you just to undertake something without ever feeling that it is you're doubting yourself am i worthy of this goal do i have the correct skill sets do i have the clout do i have the knowledge do i have the experience and do i have the networks to do it won't people see my defects huh won't my especially jesus christ said a prophet is without honor in his home what my family laugh at me because they saw my messes as i was growing up they know me they have seen my nakedness they have seen my uh, stupidity now i'm standing to champion something self doubt is communicating as you're doing this am i even capable of doing 
this seeing all my failures all my goofs my morality failures am i able can i even stand and do this you know every time you're pursuing your purpose you'll want to be judged with the strictest sense of righteousness of purity and of entitlement and therefore self doubt comes and every time self doubt comes it is going to find things that are worth gossip things that are worth people talking about and saying you don't qualify you don't deserve you cannot handle it you don't have what it takes self doubt it is one of the downsides of purpose pursuit and people have left their purpose they have walked on and done things that way below their privileges in life and in terms of their destiny and purpose because self doubt has won over them those are some of the questions that you will need to face as you are pursuing your life purpose questions dealing with your worth your self doubt these initial questions sadly have killed very many visionaries very many uh, purpose oriented people and relegated them to a life of mundane living ordinary average why because they doubted themselves i think it's uh, you remember marian williamson very beautiful she said that our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate in fact our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our strengths and not our weaknesses if i par- i'm paraphrasing she says we ask ourselves whom am i to be gorgeous brilliant talented fabulous actually who are you not to be you are a child of god she tells us you see self doubt is even with the president even with the queen it doesn't spare any human being you can never insulate someone well enough from self doubt the only antidote for self doubt is belief not belief once in terms of an event constant belief in the face of self doubt it's basically going to be outweighed and soon enough you're going to have evidence from your pursuit of purpose that you are doing the right thing that you are the man for the job you are the woman for the job you would deserve to do what you're doing even if you had failure in your past what you're doing right now is transforming the lives of people and what matters is not your failure what matters is the purpose being done and the transformation being seen in the lives of people so self doubt will going is going to be overcome over a long haul over a long period of time So this downside of purpose pursuit must be welcome and must be overcome immediately it shows up and incessantly until it is totally vanquished in the life of your purpose pursuit in that the delivered becomes the ambassador of hope the one who has overcome the self doubt becomes the ambassador of hope helping others to see their greatness self doubt left to simmer ha ah, it is a slow poison it has defects i mean it affects purpose itself you know asking its very validity are you sure you are the one are you sure it is the thing that you're supposed to do in the first place it is a very dark side of the purpose pursuit equation self doubt nobody sees this struggle it is hidden unless you have confidence that you can talk to or unless someone can just speak into your life but this battle of self doubt is normally hidden a lot so we end up taking menial jobs because we doubt ourselves we doubt our purpose we end up doing something that is just about average because we doubt ourselves and we doubt our purpose we end up running away from leadership positions because we doubt ourselves and we doubt our purpose we're looking for evidence from things that have failed us more than things that are calling us in terms of our destiny and in terms of our purpose it is one of the biggest downsides of purpose pursuit So tomorrow we're going to talk about something else but until then bye bye
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.